Insanity is doing the same things over and over again and expecting a different result. Say it again. Insanity is doing the same things over and over again and expecting a different result. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter. So I'm looking at uh, studying this case, uh, this election, <laughs> for lack of a better term, election. It's not an election, it's a selection process. Where the Democrats are selecting Governor Andrew Cuomo, the incumbent governor of New York, over what appears to be the people's favorite, Cynthia Nixon, of Sex in the City fame, celebrity Sex in the City fame. So I don't, I don't want to be somebody, I don't want to keep repeating the same story over and over again. But it's very important because um, Price, you talked about it. Price Sterling talked about it. Sterling Price said that um, that it's 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 shady. Why doesn't she just run as an independent? That's what you said. And you were having a, a blowout with Stinky over there, Stinky Pot, about um, I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I don't I can't read everything. But someone also said on the threads that was uh, that was interesting is that 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 she's throwing her money down the toilet. I don't know who said that. One of you guys said that. And, and she is, right? She is. She can't win, right? Why? Because she's, she's a, is she, look, Cynthia Nixon is, is bright and charming and, and female and, you know, and, and famous and probably pretty rich, right? She was on Sex and the City for years and years. She's a celebrity, right? Can celebrities win the office? <laughs> of course they can. <laughs> you've got one in the pre you've got one in the in the White House, right? Can 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 celebrities win? Well, of course they can. Now, if Cynthia Nixon was running for governor in a smaller state, an insignificant state, well, yeah, then she would win, right? She might be able to landslide the cheating. But like I said in that in an earlier video, well, when I used to play music in New York City as a New Yorker. There'd be a sign, a CBGB's had a sign on the wall that said, Out of towners, no remember where you are. <laughs> this is this is New York and and it's controlled by Wall Street. It's controlled by New York City corporatists, right? So they can't have no they can't have no they can't have no governor coming in changing the tax loopholes that, that Goldman Sachs has to follow. And all of the uh, the giant banks that do business and ha on a, and are headquartered in New York you can't do you can't have that right. Cuomo is in the pocket right, so you're never gonna. And and Cynthia Nixon is sort of kind of sort of calling that out. She's kind of calling out the Bernie Sanders platform of get money out of politics and tax the corporations, close the loopholes. Right? But Cynthia Nixon, you, I want to. What I want to mostly point out is because it's the rigging that's that's important to observe in this situation. It's a it's an ideal situation because we're in early June, and and the the fake election will be in Ju June six June twenty sixth, where she comes in razor close but loses. Right? It'll be fifty forty seven. It'll be fifty two forty eight. Or they'll they'll say ah oh, like with uh, what was the woman Te Zephyr Teachout, who challenged Cuomo the last time and it was she got thirty percent of the of the vote oh good job Zephyr Teachout now these are these these candidates are winning they're winning they're winning the election and being and it's being stolen from them so we're seeing the signaling we're seeing as I said in, in a previous interview and I want I'm going to talk about our revolution. Right, I'm posting on our revolution on Facebook, and and they're deleting my posts. Right, that video, uh, they don't want no dissension, no no op opposing viewpoint. You can't say that Cynthia Nixon's going to lose and it's rigged. This is our revolution, right? This is the progressive movement that we've become. So you have you have Tom Perez. Again, I said it in the last video. Tom Perez is signaling to the Democrats in New York that Andrew Cuomo, uh, Andrew Cuomo is the pick. He's the incumbent governor from democracy, from from the, <laughs> the incumbent democratically elected Democrat from New York. He's the governor, right? 
and Tom Perez is the is the captain of the DNC, right? Signaling. He's not supposed to do that. He's supposed to be impartial, right? But again, it's cheating, and we know that's cheating. I don't want to talk about that anymore. But he's signaling. I want to show you. I want to demonstrate how the rigging is going on because they're signaling now that anybody who anybody who challenges an, an incumbent in the Democratic Party is officially blacklisted, right? And that you now have cover to smear this person, to cheat, because if you don't do it, if you don't smear and cheat, it's going to come down on you, right? You could cheat. Look what happened with uh, the, with Bernie when he came to Brooklyn. They, they took 200,000 voter names to him off the, off the rolls, right? They're going to do the same thing with Cynthia Nixon. Watch. They'll, they'll, they'll chop about 100,000 votes. 100,000, um, maybe more, off the rolls. They'll purge them off the rolls. Now, in New York has the most ob- obscene voting rules, right? To, to vote in a Democratic primary, you have to have registered six months ago in, as a Democrat to vote for Cynthia Nixon. So, right there, anybody who's becoming aware of who Cynthia Nixon is now, if they don't get their ass to the, if they don't get their ballots in in time, right, right, then then their vote's not going to count. And even if they do, those will be the votes, those will be the voters that get purged off. This recent surge in voter registration that's going on in New York, I don't know it to be factual, but I guarantee it's happening because of Cynthia Nixon. So all of those, all of those new vote votes will be voters, potential voters for Cynthia Nixon, will be purged off. That's one way, right? So that'll happen. You'll see, oh, it was a mistake, there's an accident, right? And then there's no consequence, right? So it doesn't matter. They're going to cheat. They're going to they're going to purge off Cynthia Nixon's potential votes. That's one. You can't, as a Democrat, you're not allowed, you know, and, and the, the DNC said in open court that there's no such thing as a Democrat. <laughs> so if you don't, but the truth is, if you don't vote, if you're in inside the bowels of the Democratic Party and you openly support someone who challenges the incumbent, your, your days are numbered, right? They put a, they put a target on your back and, 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 and you, you just wait to get slaughtered, right? That's how they do that, that part of it, right? Right. The other thing is that I mentioned. I mentioned in, in, to, to Sterling is that they will. Um, that if you sign up for the Democratic primary, you sign a piece of paper that says a non-compete thing that says you can't run against. You can't. You promise if we let you run in our primary, you promise not to run against us if you lose. <laughs> It's like a, it's like a sore loser kind of clause or something, right? But it's not a sore loser. It's that you get cheated and you want to, you want to call it out. So, so that's that's what you're up against. That's why Cynthia Nixon is going to lose, and then when she loses, they're going to they're going to go to her and say, "Good job, you know, good job. Next time, you came close. Now get behind Cuomo. Fall in line. Fall in line." Fall in line. You want to be governor of New York? Fall in line. That's what they're going to tell her. Right? That's what they're going to tell her. And that's a sad reality. Right? But someone has to talk about it because that's what's going on. That's how they rig it. See, they'll purge voters off the rolls. Right? They'll, 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 they'll set the primaries up where the people that actually want to vote for this person can't vote for the person. Right? Because they didn't register in time. And if that if all that fails, they'll just out and out cheat in the in the counting, which we've seen because when we've seen time and time again in New York where the where the uh, exit polls don't match the actual polls, so whoever's counting the vote is cheating, right? So you're going to see a, a con- that's the concerted effort. But as I said, the signaling is now in place. Tom Perez, the head of the DNC, has signaled that Cuomo is the pick. What don't you understand about that? The cheating now begins. If you go against the incumbent, you're next. We're going to come at. We're coming after you next, right? 
if you challenge the incumbent, then you will will now there's laws, now there's rules, now they'll, they'll the, the the sore loser policy kicks in, and you can't vote, and they'll disqualify you. And then even if you do make a surge in the, as an independent, they'll find some kind of technicality to disqualify you, or they're they're, they're in charge of New York New York. Elections are controlled by the Democrats. They ultimately count the votes anyway. So that's all I'm saying. So to our revolution, you deleted my, 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 uh, I tried to post and I tried to inform you. As I've said to some, to some of you people, I'm not, I don't want your endorsement. I, I, I have, I, you know, as a write in candidate, I don't want your endorsement for, 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 the, for my senatorial race. That's not my point. My point is to point out the corruption. If you if you do the same things over and over again and expect a different result, it's insane, right? They're stabbing you in the back. Call it what it is. It's election fraud. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter, and senatorial candidate in New York for United States Senate. Peace.